Alright, what's going on everyone? It's Piki Choco and in today's video, we're tuning in with some insane ninja news that includes talks of new yearly rewards, also on Zhongli rerun, sort of confirmed banners from 2.4, 2.5 and 2.6, and interesting info on new character Haizu. So before getting into all of the insane stuff, just wanna say that the 2 blessings giveaway has started. So if you'd like to enter that, it's the topmost link in description. Alright. Now that we're done with all the hoopla, let's get into the thing y'all have clicked here for. So first news we're gonna hop into is about Zhongli rerun and the banners. So here's by Savior Primos and Yubacha who gave some ninja news. So as always, ninja speculations and not any sort of leak. So for those who missed it, Yubacha has reported a prediction that Shenhe, Zhongli, Zhao and Ganyu will all rerun during 2.4. And here's the original Yubacha tweet, okay, so what if if Zhongli reruns in 2.4. So based on this, we speculate the following. First half will be Shenhe plus Zhongli and the second half will be Ganyu plus Zhao. Hmm, devastating in a positive way and quite interesting. So a reasonable rational given below, which is again by the way a ninja sense speculation. So please be warned, Event Wish 2 will only have reruns but it was never said to only appear next to another rerun. Further stating that there is always a possible 2.4 could look like first half having two reruns and the second half having one, meaning three reruns in total and not two. And to further concretize this, here's a next tweet. So an older speculation that went largely unnoticed due to low track record plus the inability to verify their info now seeming accurate, which appears to speculate a Vortex Vanquisher rerun. Oh my gosh, this sounds like an insane thing, as every player can imagine a bloodbath of primos that will happen for these big four characters. Now on to the next bit of updated claimed roadmap that has been compiled by Savior Primos. So for 2.4 which has been claimed by Yubacha, so a Zhongli, Ganyu and Zhao rerun with an unknown order are more likely. And in addition to that we also know that officially Yunjin and Shenhei are releasing. Now for 2.5 it has been claimed by Didi as a Yaimiko release and her being a 5 star. And some ninja news also say that there there might be a possible Raiden Shogun rerun during that time. Now as for 2.6, it has been claimed to be Ayato. So yeah, that's kind of an add-on or an extra top-up info about the banners. Now on to the next bit of big yearly rewards and prizes. So the following news is a ninja sense speculation and not a leak. So the thing here is being discussed is about the Chinese New Year that falls during the Lantern Rite and not the usual year end which is November and December. So that's the point I wanna make clear. So as for Lantern Right, there might be a lot of free rewards and good stuff like the Primo Gems and a lot of activities and also the rerun of some old events. Now accounting the previous Lantern Right experience, it's also said that there might be some free 4 stars and some skins that might be provided to the players. And the base point for all of this discussion is an expectation that after facing backlash of rewards during their remarkable anniversaries and top-notch sales. At least during their Chinese New Year, Mihoyo would do something remarkable. So yeah, I really hope for something positive to happen. Now on to the next bit of newest character that is Haizu. So a new male character is in development from Mia My Shizo. So a little bonus, in addition to Ayato and Yei, Haizu is mentioned in the game files, has the body of a teenager, as tall as Yanfei and no other data yet. Hmm, interesting. So DD previously mentioned that after after Ayato, there will just be a male character in development. So now that we know Ayato is arriving in 2.6, maybe if Heizu is a 5 star, he might be appearing as a second 5 star in 2.6 or maybe just in 2.7. Or if he's some sort of a 4 star, might appear during Ayato's banner, about which I'm really not sure of. So Sarah, Ayaka, Toma, Kokumi, Goro and Heizu. So according to the characters, he's a self-proclaimed detective from the Tenryu Commission walks around in the commission's clothes but maybe wearing different clothes when he goes out. He's a very sus person who does things in his own way
away and gets into trouble causing headaches for others. So this is all kind of a background story or a lore talk about him from all the characters. But yeah, we'll find about him eventually. Now there are three ongoing wild goss slash rumors. Just thought I'll mention it to you. So the first one is, as we know, there are some new things in 2.4. It is rumored that something related to Pokemon Diamond and Pearl might have an appearance. Now I'm not sure about what they're really trying to say here. Like an actual Pokemon popping in Genshin. Seems really sus but we'll find about that soon. Second one is the arrival of Sigil Shop which gives some early hope for Chasm and Dendro. And third one might be a Fatui arriving soon as a boss or someone like that about which I'm unsure and unknown. So yeah, thank you guys for checking in today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out any mind-blowing insane Genshin news like this. Alright, I hope you have a great, amazing and fantastic day and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe and stay picky.